Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on converting WordPress blog into Android application. So in the last video, we created the navigation draw. And now, as I said, in this video, we're going to go ahead and learn about JSON structure. And we will also write a code to extract the JSON data from the WordPress WP JSON. And we will display that into our recycler view. So if you don't know about JSON and how it works, then you should go ahead and watch some crash course on that so that you'll be able to understand the syntax of JSON. But for the basics understanding, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So this is the JSON file that we have and it is provided by WordPress. And you can see we have the root element that is JSON array. So bracket indicate the JSON array and the curly braces in indicate the JSON object. Okay. So we have the JSON array and it has the 10 items because we are retrieving only 10 posts here. If I give five, then it's going to retrieve only five items. So in that way, we can control how many data that we want to display here. Okay. Now we have only five items. Now inside this JSON array, we have multiple JSON objects. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we have five JSON objects and each JSON object is a number of posts. Okay. So this first is the first post in our blog. This is second post in our blog. This is third, fourth, and fifth. And each of these JSON object going to have the same exact information with the different content. So we have this ID. This is the post ID. This is the date. That is the post date date of the our uh, blog post title. So we have the title of our blog and content that is the content of our blog. We are interested in the short description of our application, our blog post that is excerpt and we are interested in tags and categories. Okay. So we are going to extract all these data. We are not going to extract all of this data. Only thing we are going to extract is the title, date, content, excerpt, and the categories and the tags. Okay. And one more thing is we also need the feature image so that we'll be able to display our image. So we will extract the feature image from this JSON file. So we also have feature image somewhere here. So feature media, it is 431 and we have this jetpack feature media URL and which is giving the URL of our post image. Okay. So this is the image that we're going to display in our grid view. Okay. So that was the basics of this structure of the JSON. And here you can see, we, I have these options. You may not have this option because you may only see this kind of JSON file when you open this page. And if you want to see something like this in the past version of JSON, you need to install the, this JSON formatter extension from the Chrome web store. Okay. So, you can do that after that refresh the page and you will see the similar uh, format of json file okay so that was the structure of json and we are going to use volley to extract all this data and we will see that in the uh, coming lectures obviously in the coming uh, videos so let's go ahead and open our android studio here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one model for the extraction of the data Okay, so the model is called post and now it's going to have all the data information of all the post that we need for our application. So as I said, we are going to extract the title link. That is the link of our post. We are going to extract the date, post date, content and the excerpt and the categories, all that. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, we need to store that somewhere, right? So to display that in our recycler view, we need to store the information of the every post in some uh, container. So for that, I'm going to create this model so that we'll be able to create a post model and each post model is going to have all the information that we need and we're going to store that in a list view. So the first thing we're going to need is the title. Okay. So a string title that is post title. And similarly, private string contained string date that is post date 
private string and we're gonna need excerpt private string we're gonna need tags we're gonna need categories we're gonna need feature image image okay so these are the information that we gonna need and now I'm gonna generate this header and getter so right click here go to generate and click on getter and setter select all these and now it's going to create all these getter and setter for us so that we can store the data and we can retrieve the data okay so this is the post model that we need so now let's go here and create the adapter for our recycler view and display some sample data in our recycler view currently our main activity do not have anything here because we have not implemented the recycler view so first things first let's create the recycler view and post list okay i'm going to give that name and here i'm going to attach the xml resources so find byd r dot dot id dot post that is recycler view i think i have not given the id for the recycler view so let's go to the content.xml here and let's give the id for this recycler view so here okay so i'm going to give the id and just get that id okay now let's go ahead and create the model for this uh, recycler view so let me create new java class and post adapter uh, let me just call it post adapter okay now let's extend this with the view holder adapter actually we need to extend this with recycler view adapter and here we need to pass the view holder so post adapter dot view holder okay, sorry view holder which we do not have so we need to create that first so let me create view holder and this view holder is going to extend the recycler view dot view holder and here we need to create the matching constructor and here we need to implement the methods that comes with it okay so these are the methods that comes with it and now here we are going to pass the list of posts from the main activity okay so when we create the when we extract the data that is all the posts from this json file and right now we have five posts so what we are going to do is in the main activity we are going to extract the five posts from the json file and we will store that into the list view and we will send that list view to the post adapter here okay using the constructor so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a list that is of type post okay and it's going to have the name as all posts okay and now we will create the constructor so generate go to constructor and select this all post and now all the posts that is extracted from the JSON file is available into this all post list here. So now we can use this all post to display the title image and everything in our list view. But before that, here I'm going to create all post dot size because we're going to display the five posts in our recycler view and that is the all post size. Okay. Now let's go back to the main activity here and let's extract the data from our json so first things first i'm going to create the method that is going to handle all the uh, process of extracting the data so public void extract posts and it's going to pass the url okay 
So this URL is the URL of the JSON file that is this space, okay, this URL. So now inside this, we're gonna use volley to extract the data, okay. So we already have the URL that we need for the extraction of the data. So let's go ahead and create the uh, instance of volley. So we'll start by creating the request queue. So request queue, let me call is queue. And now we'll call volley dot new request queue. We need to pass the context, okay? By using this request queue, we can uh, extract the data. And now we need to go to the structure of our JSON file here, okay? So here you can see this, this symbol represent the JSON array, as I said and this curly braces represent the JSON object, right? So since we have the JSON array as our first symbol, we need to create the JSON array request in our uh, extract method here. So let's go ahead and create JSON array request. Call it as request new JSON array request. And now we need to pass few parameter. So first parameter is method. So request dot get method dot get and now we need to pass the url url okay now here we need to pass the null now we need to pass the listener one is for response listener and another one is for error listener so response listener is going to get called when the data is extracted successfully and the error listener is called if any error occurred during the process so here new response listener okay so this response listener and this response is going to have the data that is extracted from the json file and in another case we need to create the error listener so error listener and this is going to get called when the data is data extraction is failed so error dot get message we will just display the message that is given to us now in the case of data extraction is successful, we will just log this uh, response message, okay? So log response dot to string. And here, you, need, you might see this in red, so all you have to do is put it in the quotes, okay? Just put that in the quotes, and it's going to fix that. Otherwise, you can create something like this, public static final tag, to tag and it's going to fix that okay and you can use tag here okay so now what we need to do is we need to add the internet permission in our android manifest file to be able to call that uh, extraction method so here uses permission and internet okay now come back here and now we need to call this extract post method so just after this sync state, I'm going to call extract post method. And here we need to pass the URL of the JSON file, right? So in our case, the URL is present in our string. So if I go to string.xml file here, you can see we have this URL and this is the URL of our uh, JSON file, right? So I'm gonna call here that. So we need to call this through get, get resources. So get string and here r.id.r.string.url, okay. Now, whenever I run this application, it should uh, either give this response or display the error message to us. So let's go ahead and run this, okay. Now let's go to logcat and search for tag. So let me run this again. Okay, so we did not get anything here because I forgot to call this queue method here. So just after this, I'm gonna go queue dot add and I need to add the request here, okay? Now, let me run this again. And we should get some kind of response here. Okay, so after a few seconds, we got this response here. So what happens if you use JSON object request here? Because since we have this array as our uh, root element here, what happens if we use JSON object request here? 
it's simply going to return the error message here and you're gonna get this error and it says the uh, format is wrong or it's going to call this error response or error listener okay so you will get the pretty much good idea of what happened there and you can fix it so right now we got this response and it's it contains all the uh, data that we need now what we can do is we can go ahead and in, after this we can extract the data so this is how we extract the data and in the next video we will extract the only required data from this json response file that is title content and everything and after that we will save that into the post class that we have created here that is post model class and after that we will send that to the post adapter so we will do all that in coming videos so i will see you in the next one